<clears throat> okay, I thought I'd, I'd go over some a uh, few a few basics of running the program. Um, I've got Home Designer Suite 2014 open. Of course, the first thing you usually do is grab the uh, wall tool and draw. But the smart thing to do is to go to Edit, Default Settings, left click, and then open these default settings and set these set these categories up like you intend to design with. You know, you can do your cabinets, and you can do, uh, well, just about everything except for us. Window sizes and type, uh, wall types. I'm just left-clicking, by the way. If you don't want to have a six-inch wall, then you could check, pick one that you do. Like a, there's a two-by-four siding wall. So you just drop down here, left-click. Okay, <clears throat> you do that, and I recommend that you do that. It's just more efficient. And just left-clicking and dragging, create these walls. Uh, obviously, auto auto build roofs is on. Can, we'll do a quick overview of that. <clears throat> All right. Now, in terms of opening dialogs, I'm going to put my cursor right over this wall and double-click on the wall. And then I get its dialog. Let's double-click. Or I can double-click in this space here and see how it's selected the uh, space. And double-click opens this dialog. Double-click. Also, here's the edit toolbar. I just left-click and drag it off, off of there, and it's and it's there because this space is selected. If, if I hit the space bar, it's a deselect. Well, then the edit toolbar disappears. If I click on the wall, the edit toolbar with commands in it that are germane to the what's selected, in this case, the wall. Like I can select the next object, or I can open that object, open that dialog, dialog box for that object, or I can copy that wall, I don't want to copy, but I'm just demonstrating. Click on the wall again, uh, and delete the wall, and hit Control-Z on my uh, keyboard, Control-Z, and that'll undo, that's an undo command. <clears throat> See right there, it's undo. In terms of icons, those commands are there. Let's put another object in here. I'll put a cabinet, left click. Now I want to... If I want to open the dialog box for this cabinet, I can double-click on it. I just double-clicked on it. Or I can just click on it and then go to the open icon in the edit toolbar. Now this thing's normally dock over here, and I pulled it off so you could actually see that it's actually labeled as the edit toolbar. So if you're reading the reference manual and it says the edit toolbar, but you've never seen this, well then you get the idea. It's, it's usually over here, I, I think, by default. Uh, let's find another object. <clears throat> I'll draw a fence out here. I just click on the fence tool and left click and drag. And again, I select it. I can right click and get this uh, open object here or from the edit toolbar over here open and get the dialog. <clears throat> In terms of basic basic, that's it. I, you, you need to set uh, edit default settings. It saves you a lot of time if you do that and think it through. And then uh, there's just some of the ba basic basic fundamentals of, of using this program. Okay, thanks for watching.